Daddy. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to Count Your Colors. Thank you so much for that great introduction. Welcome to Count Your Colors. Our objective is to take the rainbow of the plant kingdom and figure out creative ways to get that into our bellies for health and vivaciousness and feeling awesome. Today we're gonna be making a crunchy, spicy tuna sushi roll. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take three tomatoes. I like them real thick and juicy, so find that juicy double. I got lots of trouble begging for a piece of that bubble. You're gonna stab it with a knife. Does that look like fun? You're gonna give them each a few random stabs to create some pockets of air. So we're gonna now pop them into some boiling water just for a few minutes. I want you to watch what happens here. Within two or three minutes time, the skin at the edge is gonna start to slightly unravel. This is gonna make it very easy to peel. We're gonna get them out with a slatted spoon. We don't wanna take that boiling water. And we're gonna pop them into the ice bath. We're gonna cook up a cup of rice. Okay, we're gonna bring this to a boil. And then once it's boiling, it's gonna simmer for another 20 minutes or so. These are just the package instructions. Whatever your rice package says, do that. We're gonna take a container with a lid. And in this container, we're gonna put the sauce that is gonna be our spicy tuna saucy seasoning. We're gonna pour three tablespoons of tamari, soy sauce, or liquid aminos. Pop it in. One teaspoon of ground ginger. One tablespoon of sriracha. One tablespoon of sesame oil. Vegan mayo, this is an eggless mayo, so there's almost no cholesterol in it. So we're gonna pop the lid on. And we're gonna shake and shimmy and get this combined. Shake it, shake it, shake it. We're gonna chop up our tomatoes and you're gonna see how they're gonna turn into tuna. How could it be? We've removed the skins, but that's not all we need to remove. We also need to get rid of some of these seeds. We don't want the seeds. So we've got all these little tiny bits of tomato which look and taste nothing like sushi now, but in a little bit. What's awesome about this recipe is that it keeps getting more flavorful and more saturated over time. I'm just gonna let the marinade really sink deep into these tomatoes right now, popping this in the refrigerator until our rice is finished. Now that our tomatoes are marinating, becoming tuna for us, we are gonna take a few seasonings and make our rice into sushi rice. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna use some rice vinegar, a quarter of a cup, two tablespoons of agave nectar, one teaspoon, so half of a tablespoon, of sea salt. Kind of just mix that together real quick. Now we're gonna remove our rice because we're gonna be making sushi. We don't want the rice to be hot anymore, so I'm gonna transfer it into something else. Now we wanna let this get to about room temperature or even just a bit cool. So we're gonna just gently drizzle this on. We're gonna roll our sushi. First thing we're gonna need for this is sushi rolling paper, otherwise known as nori, otherwise known as seaweed. Nori can be eaten like a snack by itself. My kids will sometimes munch on it. So the nori has two sides to it. One side is ribbed and a little bit more matte. The other side is a little shinier. The shinier side is gonna face down. The ribbed side is gonna face you. You're gonna need one little bowl of water in order to keep your fingers wet and be able to use it as an adhesive at the end. I'm gonna grab some rice. We're gonna mat it into the seaweed paper now. Now we're gonna kind of put it everywhere except for about an inch at the top because we're gonna need that to be our adhesive. We're gonna take some avocado about a third of the way into our rolling paper operation here. Now we're gonna grab our tomato tuna that's been marinating and we are gonna line this up along the backbone of the avocado. Let's roll. We're gonna get a couple fingers wet and we're gonna drag them along the edge. This is gonna make it nice and sticky so that it'll all come together and stick. Now that we've rolled it up, we're gonna cut it. Now I've had to watch many YouTube videos to figure out exactly how to cut this properly and it's actually quite simple. So here's how it goes. Hey girls, you wanna taste some delicious sushi? Yeah! yeah. Come on in little girls. Okay, 
Now the last garnish I want to put on before I let my little munchkins taste it are some panko breadcrumbs. The word panko means breadcrumbs in Japanese. Okay, I'm gonna put just a little garnish of some panko breadcrumbs on here. Garnish is like a little topping. Do we always have garnish on our sushi? We do usually do some garnish. Willow, are you interested in trying some sushi? Yes. I'm gonna give her the end piece that I don't really want to serve to company. All right, and then the rubbish that was literally just in my hand from the other is gonna go into this one's mouth. We're very economical around here. Yum. Mommy's a really good sushi maker. <laughs> Nothing makes me happier. And let's be real, anyone who's a parent out there knows there is no way to get raw tomatoes into children's mouths and bellies. Like, how else do you ever do that? It's really spot on. It's really close to the real thing. I wouldn't really know the difference. I highly encourage you to check this out. The kids can't get enough of it. You're gonna love this. Please try it soon. I want more. I'm so glad you want more. Can we say goodbye to our friends? Goodbye, Daddy. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in for this video. If you like it, subscribe and like and let us know. And we'll see you next week for another video. Thank you for counting your letters. Counting your I letters. Thank you.